Welcome to the Eye of the Needle. I'm Randy Moggins, and this is Off Planet Radio. The following is a message that I scribed earlier today in the morning hours after several days of compiling and background processes. Um, numerous times I got the imagery and the verbiage of this message coming through, and then several times I was afraid that I wouldn't remember what I was being messaged. Um, this morning, the urgency of sitting down and scribing this was upon me. And so this is a message entitled Breadcrumbs and Hairpin Turns, a download message for this time of the new moon. It is in November 15th, 2020, and the moon is in a Scorpio new moon aspect to Jupiter and Pluto, two sun signs that speak of morality and success or immorality and disaster the dichotomous choices being made on the planetary level and the dichotomy of the dualities that span through this year the seed year of 2020 as 2020 winds down this has been a year of breathtaking unfoldment in both the natural and supernatural realms It has been a year of massive dark agendas, testings of the human resolve, thwarted hopes for some, and diverted energies, yet the diversity of human experience still holds great promise in passing through this tumultuous time, even, yes, because of it all. Our outer realm is being exploited, altered, engineered, and reconfigured on the fly, so to speak. Unexpected events, outcomes, and surreal scenarios are becoming commonplace as heightened cosmic waves, unique astrological conjunctions, and the stressors on the earth plane and in the human energetic systems increase. I wish to say that this will become more so the new normal over the next 24 months. Do not be discouraged by that. As human vessels living in what has been perceived as a, quote, steady state, unquote, of linear logical processes of the 3D, 4D reality, we entered into this period collectively unprepared for the bizarre twists and turns in our perceived collective flow of space and time. Humanity has been in a 200,000 year, give or take, lockdown of consciousness and spiritual perception by these unseen forces of whom we have often called the gods, archons, devils, powers, and any other disempowering terminology we use to designate that which appears to externally dictate the streams of enfoldment. As we begin the ascent into this new fabric of reality, which I have termed Eye of the Needle, only by way of which to designate a particular process, we are becoming aware of the fragility of our own perceptual mechanisms and the desperation of the oppositional forces which have arrayed against this process. And it is important to know that this war, because we as humans live in a realm of contrast, is not against the beings we are, but the beings we are becoming. In this year, we are now learning that if we stand back, these processes are the mechanics of elevation. That, because we live in duality and contrast and the illusion of that which our scientifics falsely claim is a steady state flow of linear logical processes, which can be scientifically mapped, plotted, assessed, and managed, that instead we are more as dots on an infinite field of the prima materia, the continuum of the space-time fabric, that even as they, note again they, attempt to harness manage, control, and corral the human energetic via various programs, that we move in ways that their scientific processes have not algorithmically plotted. 
Again, it is this process which so befuddles them that in their desperation they move in seemingly more forceful, dishonest, and morally vacant methodologies of control. It was the former Soviet Union Premier Mikhail Gorbachev who in a 1992 address to the Rio summit held by the UN on climate change, who stated that, and loosely quoting here, humans would be as waves that would attempt to escape on the seas from a world system being established under climate change and global warming, that this could not be allowed. Mr. Gorbachev entertained at length on the fact that a global system required total global enslavement. And while I've attempted to locate this exact text of the speech online, it does appear to have been memory hold from the digital record. Nonetheless, this present period, with its COVID-19 ruse, global lockdown, human contagion distancing, masking, and reductions of liberties and choices, was architected long ago and rolled out in phases over the last 30 years. Mr. Gorbachev, along with Mr. Al Gore, who was also the co-sponsor of the Rio Summit in 1992, who was the Al Gore Rhythm, who even claimed credit for the Internet, were the early proponents of this technological control grid that has now been rolled out in 2020 under the pretext of a global pandemic holocaust. It is their plan to complete this rollout during the period of 2021 to 2022. Both Gore and Gorbachev were deep insider messengers steeped in the occult and used to convey the structures by which they, the overseers, would construct the cage for these very energies we now inhabit. The waves upon which billions of human souls could theoretically, according to their wisdom, escape were well understood, well recognized, and feared by these self-same controllers who are the ancient predators of humanity. We would call them Draco, Anunnaki, the Archons, and lower energy feeders in the astral realms, and the amassed trauma of the emitted accretion field around this earth, the accumulated dark energies of a tortured humankind. It is these now amassed energies which are being dissolved in a slow, methodical, synergistic dance between Mother Terra and the galactic solar primordial forces of cosmos in this dawning era. It is a process of the remembering, the reassembling, re-embodiment of the essence of the human's core field that is the focus of this full frontal attack on our biological, psychic, and emotional well-being. At the same instance, without these arrays of forces against us, we could never have the impetus to move into these new higher energies. I cannot stress this enough, that because we embody in a hybrid realm of forces, the push-pull of contrast and duality, we require both the forces of light and darkness for our own spiritual unfoldment. This period we now inhabit is not punishment, nor is it retribution for our so-called collective sins, nor is it the dark apocalypse of an end times extinction, though certainly we are and will see mortality and mor morbidity increase, sadly enough. The propulsion of the human energetic is the plan, to the degree which we cooperate with this process and respond both individually and collectively, we can and shall obtain the next promised levels of completement. This is a time of seeding. The metaphor of the plows furrowing the soil, the ground, or grounding, for a new human emanation of divine unfoldment. The violence which Mother endures is followed by the silent gestation of the embryonic life force, the subtle energies which become strong. The seed, in another round of violence, casts off the shell and forces its way toward the sun. 
Thereupon it extends its arms to bask for a season, and then comes the harvest. Yet still another act of violence upon the entity, yet all serves the eternal process of ever unfoldment. Now this process is disturbing. The perturbation of the amassed human collective which have gathered in this, what we call time, is in fact both a turning and returning of beings such as yourselves who seek to regather and experience, even co-create the zeitgeist of this coming into. You are the harbingers, way showers, and guiding lights. You are, as the very suns and spheres, the forces that unfold the visions of an infinity of probable worlds to which our children's children's children, to quote the Moody Blues, will inhabit and themselves unfold and embellish. And that they are themselves our future selves, just as we are the emanations of the untold generations, which, in linear time perception, are the ancestors whom now seek to guide us in this present turbulent period. All things resolve to the one, from the many, in spirals of intermingling discharge of eternal creative light. There are, in the short days ahead, pitfalls and detours. There are maps and there are deliberate ambushes. There are breadcrumbs which may be laid, which we must discern to either follow or allow for the birds of the sky to devour. They may be poisonous, the breadcrumbs of deceivers, liars, false paths, and would-be savior programs. The false hopes of movements, cryptic messengers like the Q, the belief in liberation technologies such as the blockchain, AI, quantum computing, MAGA red state, blue state, new world order, roadmaps given by the statist establishment, military, techno, industrial, financial savants. These must be discerned on the basis of you, individually and collectively on the merits of inherent value in the real lies-ation of the organic process. Nothing outside of your own knowing is greater than you. What we will see is the continued roiling energies of opposition, rapid changes, violent spins of movements and information. These will indeed be dizzying, tiring, confusing, and of great perplexity. Your inner navigator requires attunement to the center point of universe and firm grounding with Mother Terra, who is also under assault. It will not be a revolution, but accelerating, sometimes nausea-inducing hairpin turns 90 degrees in one direction, then sudden snaps in counter motions, much like the accelerometers in your mobile devices respond to motion, a whipsaw effect that can and will demand constant restabilization and course corrections. To extend the metaphor a bit, the course through this eye of the needle is and will be a circuit of energy relays, capacitance, and voltage regulation. This needle passage through time-space is not linear. It is the quantum fabric through which we pass that will conduct our energies, intentions, and resolutions beyond the seeming chaos and convoluted vistas of this current process. You have been given everything you require to complete this course. You never lose balance. Never cede your vision to other powers, especially those of the gods of forces. The unfoldment and its pathways are coded inside of you, in your DNA, in your higher being, in star maps and transmitted energies which the controllers cannot block, though they do try via atmospheric interferences, electronic waves, AI predator botnets, and malevolent spells of dark synthetic alchemy. You have and always did possess 
the spark of divine intelligence, before incarnating into this present slice of space-time. You live in a realm beyond these event horizons. All of nature and the deep inner tides of your own roadmap are there to access. That which is synthetic must also resolve back to its primordial elements for everything synthetic was once organic. Spirit is fire, that which glows with the intensity of the central sun, dwelling in stillness from which all that is emanates. You are children of the sun, the son of man. I hope that uh, this edifies you. I hope you receive it, process it, use what fits, discard what doesn't. The truth is out there, it's inside you. Go forth into the process. See you on the other side. Peace out.